Welcome back, I'm Jack, and welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts playthrough. So, shall we get a move on? I feel like I should, uh, you know, focus on the, uh, focus on the playthrough for this part. That's what I want to do. We had a lot of action and a lot of stuff going on in the last video, but let's take a break from that and just do some simple playing of the game. So there's not much to explore up here, so let's just move on to the next area. Get on with the story! So, we're here where the Bandit Heartless are making an appearance for the first time. I really like the Bandit Heartless. I mean, frankly, the thing about them is they just look like bandits. It almost justifies Sora's question of, uh, was Merlin a Heartless? Because, you know, maybe the idea of, you know, Heartless looking human-like was odd at the time, but then you come here and look at this. There are Heartless that look just like people. People who are bandits, and they just wield swords. They don't wield fancy magic, black, dark, evil, glowy swords, just swords. You know? Heartless could seriously be anything or anyone. They can take all sorts of appearances, but uh, they don't talk. So, no, that question is still totally unjustified. Anyway, uh, let's jump up here. But I guess, it's to be fair, Sora doesn't know too much about the Heartless at this point. You know? Still, they're still just those guys that. Uh, well, those things that uh, he has to fight because they'll kill everyone if he doesn't. Quite like Sora as a character. Good, strong sense of justice. Uh, and, uh, of course, friendliest, friendliest guy in the world. But Anyway. Actually, case in point. Here we go. He's about to make a new friend. Who's there? Hello? Was it really worth having a whole line of dialogue and bringing in... You know, whoever Jasmine's voice actress is, just for that one little bit there. Considering this is where all the juice is, isn't this where you should focus the cutscene on? Oh, once again, I really wish this game had a bit, had a, had a bigger, uh, I don't know, technical budget or whatever. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a budget, uh, budget problems, or if it's just them experimenting and making this at the making this as a first time one-off thing. No idea what Kingdom Hearts was going to be back in the day. But yeah, Hello. all these speech bubbles. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. It just kind of jumps in and out and cutscenes aren't as well defined as they are Desmond, in later games. Allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you see. Jasmine, run! Great idea, Sora. Separate her. Ah, the boy who holds the key. Well, that was interesting. All right, there we go. That's cleaned up the town. Jafar is a pretty good villain, but he never got a villain song. That's a, uh, I suppose, a regret. I suppose you can have about Aladdin. Great film, though. Still remember first seeing Aladdin. You never forget a classic. Alright. Let's just get a few things done around here, such as the very conspicuous looking keyhole here. Click. I like how Sora, like, usually, when it comes to opening or unlocking keyholes or whatever, it's a tap, or, um, you know, he points it at it and it unlocks, or maybe it shoots a beam, like it does in a, a few times in Kingdom Hearts 2. But here, when he wants to unlock something, he just jams it in. Gives it a good shove. Oh. Yeah. Crowd control's a bit rough here. I was also thinking, that time a while back when I went for a grind between videos, <coughs> and uh, also now, really, it's just coming back. I'm I, i uh, I'm not a fan of the way the camera is so close to Sora and so low to the ground. Anyway, uh, to focus on important matters, I think we're supposed to go up here to Aladdin's house. <coughs> Agrabah's a dead big place, isn't it? Alright, so there's a few things you can find lying around here. Um, mostly these treasure chests and whatnot. And oh, a gummy block or two. Okay, so uh, obviously the point of interest here is to move this thing off the poor magic carpet. Magic carpet. Legendary for having no face and yet being more expressive than some actors. Yeah, I visit the internet too, I see these memes lying around just happens. 
I'll never claim to be that original of a person when it comes to humour. Un unless, you know, I properly try, in that case. Yeah, I can- oh no, darn it. No, no, no. But, uh, for the most part, yeah, I tend to make a lot of references. And it's a weakness, I would say. Oh no, we're in the desert. This is where things get a bit rough. I'm not a big fan of beaches. I can't imagine the desert would be much better. I don't like sand. I'm not about to go into a big speech about why I don't like sand, because that would be dumb and, uh, you know, whiny. And anyone who does go into big long speeches about sand really needs to re-examine their life. See what I mean about making references? Alright. Does anyone get that? Oh. So, what's up carpet? Oh, you want us to come along? See, Sora could tell that without even needing to hear a word out of its mouth. Didn't even need to say anything in the carpet. You know, just... Such a good carpet. Alright. Now, uh, I'm gonna be honest, this next bit, kinda struggle, I kinda struggle with this next bit. There's Aladdin and Abu sinking in the sand, and yet the moment we jump into the area, the sinkhole is, um, empty. So, I guess we're too late, what a shame. Alright, let's go beat these guys up, get this done. Um, this area, really, just for fighting the harlots, I don't know what it is, yeah, there's just something about it that makes everything harder. I know that's very, very odd for me to see as I completely tan these guys without taking a bit of damage from them, but seriously, I, I mean it, this is this is hard, trust me, it's very hard. Alright, I'm not doing the best, I'm not doing the best job of making my case. One thing that's very helpful to have against these guys is counter guard, I think that's what the ability is called because you'll need it a lot when fighting these guys because your swords are very likely to clash. No, oh, I hate this bit. Genie, get rid of these guys. Wish number 1 to come and ride up. I miss Robin Williams. In Kingdom Hearts, Aladdin is really hasty to use his wishes. So, yeah. Thanks, Sora. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can someone Please, kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only genie of the lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp, and have your dearest wishes granted. This winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. Amal Ross. Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and see it. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. You're telling me. So he has two left. So, Master, what do you have for wish number two? How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred candles loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less, or your meal free! Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. <laughs> Chini was really disappointed about that cappuccino. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. But she's a princess. And I'm... Ah, she could never fall for a guy like me. Princess? Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's You can get tell going. that this is serious because Sora put on his serious face. Alright, sorry, Goofy. Uh, Aladdin is the man. Aladdin's a bro. Love that guy. Yeah. So, um, on with the story. Put a lot of effort into animating the genie. Share the great outdoors. And let's face it, it was well worth it. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers, itty bitty living space. 
It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie, it's a promise. After we help Jasmine. Something I've kind of struggled with when it comes to Aladdin and the lore of him and the genie in that. Like, would it, would it really, like, the genie's Aladdin's friend, you know? And he has his own free will once he's free of the lamp, you know? So, was it really too much of an issue to free the genie in the first place and then maybe genie would do plenty of favour if he asked for it, you know? Like, he doesn't have to be the genie's master for the genie to grant him wishes, um, provided, you know, they're for the best in that. I mean, yeah, I guess it helps having the genie more under his thumb and under his control, which, while selfish, I can understand the reasons of, you know, um, I don't know, I just, I always thought they overcomplicated things when it came to the genie and being free in that, but that's an issue for another day. Right, um, not sure if there was something important to do up here or not, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because of all the rooftop popping, maybe this was the point where you're supposed to unlock that. That would explain the uh, odd placement of, oh darn it, I hate those things. Whoa, 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 whoa! Alright, you're not gonna live. You're not gonna live well. Oh, good thing I came down here. Good items you don't wanna miss out on. Fucking grief these boxes. Come on. There we go. Bit fidgety, isn't it? The physics in, this, in these games. Yeah, I don't have much to talk to talk about in this part. Like I said, I'd, I'd rather just sort of stick to the... Um, stick to this being a simple playthrough part. Get through the story, get things done. Get going, get going get it done right. So, shall we just move on to the main street? Where, whoops, where, whoops, uh, there we are. Uh, as I recall, we're supposed to go to, um, yes, I don't remember where we're supposed to go to. Uh, ah, yes, I remember now. So, it's, it's uh, clear to go through there right now, to the palace gates, which is utterly pointless, because uh, you have to go up here, in the land south. Quite interesting, Genie being immortal and all, maybe he knows about the Keyblade War. That'd be interesting. Well, you know, depends how long ago the Keyblade War was and how long ago the Genie was, I don't know, born? That's an interesting thing. Where do Genies come from? Do they dream? And so on. Yeah, so on this. Alright, here we go, into the bazaar. Ah, darn it, I'm just realising now I should have brought Goofy for this. There's a trinity down here. Oh, but we do get to fight these guys. Oh my goodness, Aladdin! Jeez, man, calm down. How did he do that? So yeah, these guys are more annoyances than anything else. Lots of defense to make up for their tiny amounts of health. And as fighters, they mostly focus on just, uh, you know, poisoning you with gas. And um, making themselves invincible temporarily so that you have an even harder time putting them down. But you get 96 experience points for them. Oh, all in all, one of my favourite Mushroom Heartless. Despite their simplicity, despite their uh, kind of blandness, honestly, overall. I like those Mushroom Heartless. They're not as cute as the white ones, they're not as cute as the white mushrooms. You know, uh, oops, hang on. Don't want to miss the money. You've got to have lots of money. Did I say before that the way money was spelt resembles uh, the way it's spelt, the way honey is spelt, when I the poo? It just occurred to me because, uh, you know, like two parts ago or something, we went to Winnie the Pooh. And Winnie the Pooh needs help, we need to find the torn pages, which reminds me, there should be a torn page in Agrabah, somewhere in uh, the Cave of Wonders. 
Alright, I now have new motivation and drive to charge along with this world and get through it because we need to help Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is in trouble and we need to help him. And that is good enough motivation for me to do anything. <laughs> Seriously though, Tigger movie? Piglet's big movie? Um, oops, uh, alright, let's take this guy down really quick. Tigger movie, Piglet's big movie, and Winnie the Pooh's most grand adventure. Classic childhood films of mine, and every single one of them is a tearjerker. No joke. Now if you come up here sometimes, not now, I think it's probably after the next segment of the game where, you, uh, where you're faced with the devious um, pot centipede, which we, will sh we shall go and fight right now, you get to meet the peddler, the guy who tells the story at the start of uh, Aladdin. It's kind of weird that they made him a character who interacts with a lot of them in a lot of ways in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. You know, it's weird. So this is a little bit of a weird thing. From here, we can get the jump on these guys and we can jump very close to them, but watch what happens in the cutscene. A boing! We're all the way over here. Oh well. How did he even know we were there? Back to your hole, street rat. I will not allow you to trouble the princess anymore. Jasmine! I'm so sorry, Aladdin. Gee, it's kind of weird that the Sultan please. never appears in either of the Kingdom Hearts games. One wish <coughs> You're this or any really of the Kingdom Hearts games. You know? <laughs> so any of the ones that include Agrabah. And that's a large number. Wish has been denied. This is seriously like the cheapest point in the game for me. I'm sorry, like, what the heck? Aladdin wished for the genie to help Jasmine, and he didn't do it. That was a rip-off of a wish. It didn't even work. And yet he doesn't get that wish back. And the genie's clearly capable of helping Aladdin of his own free will, you know, like he does in the film when Aladdin tricks him. So, what's the deal? <sighs> it's always annoyed me that. Aladdin really should have gotten more from that. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. It's a genuinely cheap moment in the Mars, I think. Even if it's just the Disney World. Still. Shouldn't have happened like that. Aladdin deserved better. Alright. Enough uh, rambling about weirdness and stuff that doesn't matter. We have to take down this guy, who is seriously the most forgettable and heartless I think I've ever fought. Like, I sometimes forget this guy, the boss. I didn't even realize who he was. When I first played the game, I was looking through the journal entries of all the Heartless, and when I came across the pot centipede, I was so confused because I did not remember him at all. One thing that does annoy everyone, I think, of course, is the fact that you constantly hear Jasmine uh, crying for help throughout this. Uh, counter guard, made short work of this. Um, I don't have that issue right now because I'm playing the game muted, so I can't hear anything, but, uh, yeah. That, uh... It doesn't annoy me so much as it does just irritate me as the fact as it is it implies she should be in one of those pots. To the desert. Come on, let's move. Honestly, it always freaked me out that she falls into a pot and then it turns into a pot spider. Like what's the inside of the pot like? What did what did she see from her point of view? Was it cold? Was it dark? Well, you know, darkness, harmless. I kind of assume that's kind of a given. Anyway. Let's wrap this up with these guys and get on with saving the princess because that's pretty much a very original, very unique objective that we must fulfill right now, importantness-wise. So, uh, that usually means a lot of fighting. Ah, here he is. See? Peddler. You can buy stuff from him. I don't know if these are good prices or not, but yeah, you can buy stuff from him. We could probably use a couple of others. Wait, hang on. Oh well. Anyway, um, yeah, we gotta go fight the Cave of Wonders now, and when I was talking about that difficult point in the desert, it gets even more difficult for me when I'm fighting the Cave of Wonders. That's really the thing that I'm afraid of. I do not like that boss fight. So, the next part should be interesting, because we're going to fight him in the next part. See you later. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Jack, and I'll be back.